how about that uh Johnny Depp trial? Whoo, that is a relationship for the ages, a love story. Better than Romeo and Juliet. I mean, if my woman doesn't love me like that, I don't want it. Sup everybody. Welcome back to the world's first fishing. We are grilling steak tonight and we are also going to be putting on uh, some big mushroom uh, crab like mushrooms stuffed with crab cakes. So we're getting fancy over here tonight. So I've got a huge like 20 ounce porterhouse steak and uh, it's time to light the grill. Oh yeah, it's alive. It's alive, it's alive. I was supposed to go catfishing with Happy Jack tonight, but uh, he wussed out. Something about having to fix his trucks. He drives like three different Ford trucks, and uh, because they're Fords, they pretty much are in a constant state of uh, disrepair. Yeah, less than 400 degrees. Oh yeah, looking right. Yeah. First of many flips here. I'm sure some of you uh, real steak gurus are gonna tell me in the comments how I'm doing it wrong. Ah, I welcome such comments. Check this out, y'all. Going live on Instagram with live wire plastics. Smile, you're on camera. You're on camera. Smile. There he is. That is Drew Barf with Live Wire Plastics. Give him a follow. He's a pouring machine. Nah, dude, I'm out here uh, grilling some steak. So, this will be the start of my next video is me showing the world how, um, just, just how ghetto my steak grilling is. Yeah, there it is. We won't talk about the crab cakes, but steak turned out probably pretty bomb. Holy cow. So you might have seen that quick little clip of us getting poured on. Happy Jack and I wound up going fishing after steak night uh, the, the next day. Um, and I caught a beautiful long ear sunfish. And this is sort of a color match based on that sunfish. Some nice layering there, lots of oranges. It's actually dark orange on the top and a beautiful Jetson green sunfish eye. Isn't that cool? All right, everybody. So it is evening. The sun just went down and um, we know we have not done any nighttime baiting on this channel in uh, quite some time. Uh, I generally try to film during the day if I can just because lighting's better. And I think that y'all can see the colors a little bit um, more as they actually are. But I did not have time to film this weekend because of that uh, horrendous fish fishing trip with Happy Jack and a couple other conflicts. So it is now a week night, and uh, I recently saw a tight lines color, beautiful color. It's like a yellow and black kind of swirl, but there's some orange hint to it, and uh, it's a tight lines color. So um, not having used the angling AI C block in a while. I was like, this will give me a chance to use that, to show that to any new viewers. And it's a cool color. It's going to be um, a challenge to match. So that's what we're going to try and do. So we are definitely going to need a yellow, okay? A brown, which uh, I like just the regular Lure Works brown. And then my favorite orange, the Dead On Plastics orange. We are going to sort of blend those three colors right there. Also with some black, I have some black in the back. And I think that is going to give us basically the, the, the two base colors that we need. Uh, I think there's a little bit of flake in there. We're about to take a look at the color and um, stand that back up. And, um, and then we will try to match it. 
Okay, so there is the Angling AI C block, and you can tell I've had this one a while because some of the color is coming off of those uh, <laughs> off those uh, twists there. So it's essentially a two color blending block to fit your dual injector, okay? And what's cool is, oops, you can see there's a lot happening here. It puts the plastic, I mean, it makes that plastic dance inside of the block and it, and it results in in a nice kind of random camo swirled effect okay it's not a true swirling block to get a true spiral swirl like you see in a candy cane you have to milk the cow which we do have some videos on that however the c block gives you some of the coolest random kind of splotchy swirly patterns uh with, ever when used correctly and what I mean by used correctly is used in a mold that has the correct configuration, okay? And also an asymmetrical mold. So you need a mold that is oriented where the cavities go to one side. To, to me, this gives you the best effect where the plastic enters the runner and can only go one way. A lot of molds are actually set up like this, okay? It's where you have a runner that then splits the mold in half and the plastic goes left and right you really need a mold that's configured like this and the more asymmetrical or more random and more appendages that a mold has the sweeter the swirl okay we'll just kind of start with the black side first and it almost looks like a, dr a gray charcoal but it's hard to tell that could just be from the fact that it is swirled with those other colors it's definitely not like a super saturated jet black um, yeah <laughs> so that's going to be the hard part is going to be getting the black saturated enough but not too saturated to where you can't see that flake so we're just gonna kind of keep keep cracking at it here and uh, I'm gonna show you the whole color building process a lot of times I kind of crop a little bit out here and there just to save time on the video, but a lot of you have um, commented that y'all like to see me try to do the whole thing. So you're going to see it drop for drop, stir for stir until I just think I have it right. So yeah, so far that's looking pretty good. You can see the earliest <laughs> version of it was real see-through. But we are slowly, slowly building up some nice uh, saturation here. And um, of course we don't want, you know, there again, once it's swirled with the yellow and orange, it'll actually lighten it up and uh, make things a little bit more visible. So now let's, uh, let's dive into the hard part. This is definitely going to be the most difficult side here. We're just going to ahead, go ahead and get, get lots of yellow in there, a little bit of orange. The dead on orange is very concentrated. So we just kind of have to plan for that. Yeah, you can see that's almost sort of like a tangerine peach color. And uh, the brown will kind of help change that a little bit. So we'll put some brown in there and we may actually have to add a little bit of white. There's all sorts of things you can do to, uh, to, to try to get it looking right. So, if we just kind of pull up here. Right, you can see we're, we're starting to get there on the right track. I am gonna cut the camera here, but we're not gonna do anything else till we're back. Okay, we are back. All we did was just kind of pop them in the microwave just to get them hotter. I think the orange needs a little bit more orange. Okay. Overall, it's actually looking pretty good. It's looking about like it should. And then we're going to go ahead and add this black flake. It was the small size black flake, so 0 0.015. There we go. Let's get it in focus. That is considered small in bait making. There is smaller. But this is what people mean when they say small flake. And you don't normally add it to black uh, plastic. Black flake and black plastic. 
Um, not something I've done a lot of. So, you know, because, you know, the, the thought is, oh, it won't really show up. But when swirled with a lighter color, you're going to get that bleed over where you will then start to see that flake. So what we're going to do is something that I like to call the drizzle test. Not the hand pour drizzle method, of course. Um, but we're going to drizzle out some color from each one and just kind of see how they react. See how they play to see if we are on the right track. Because this color is going to be kind of randomly mixed together, okay? So, all right, here we go. Sorry for all the background noise. It's uh, pretty loud out here, but it is time to do some C-blocking. <laughs> and basically, what's cool is that you do it just like a regular laminate block. There's, there's no secret to it. There's nothing really to learn. You just plug and play. Here we go. That's the ecto crawl right there. All right. Now we'll move over to the stingers. All right, let's look at the actual C block here. I think the color's good. I think I may have to up the saturation. Just kind of looking at the sprues here. Um, the baits may be a little bit too see-through, which kind of affects the way that the color swirls. But there you can see kind of what the block does and how it takes the two streams of plastic and really makes them dance. All right, open them up. Let's go ahead and look at the look at the crawl first. Since oh, you know what? Drum roll. Drum roll, please. All right, now let's see how we did. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. So you can see right, right away, look at the difference in color. Really orange in the cup, looks almost completely yellow in the mold. So the way that the black plays on the color, you can see we have, right, sort of a more yellowy yellow and black swirl okay that's pretty look at how it just lays the color in there yeah oops trying to lay them out uh lay them out like that pretty pretty gorgeous but not quite the match but you know you kind of have to uh, get one round under you in order to know how your color is really going to look. So as you can see, <clears throat> the picture, and of course, you know, the picture has been photo enhanced and blah, 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 blah. If we can find it again, yeah. You can see just a lot more orange. Ours is definitely way toned down. So we'll open up. We'll just show you what, what one of these stingers looks like. And that we'll have to add some more. Good lord, maybe I won't. We'll have to add some more orange to it. There we go. Definitely going to have to orange things up. Yeah, quite a bit. So there's what we have. But yeah, look how cool the C block does things. So what we're going to do is we're going to up the orange and we're going to up the saturation. Okay, here we go. Time to orange it up. Three, four, five, six. Ooh, seven drops is a lot of dead on orange. But you can see how it looked earlier, right? We really, really, really gotta orange it up. <clears throat> Big time gotta orange it up. Okay, here we go, lock and load. Awesome, awesome. Here comes round two. A more orange round two. All right, unlock, and you know what? Let's open a stinger first. Feeling, 
feeling pretty good about this round. So let's see what happened. Oh yeah. That's looking more like it. What do y'all think? Maybe almost even too orange now. I don't know. See, what's interesting is if we look at both sides of the bait, you can definitely see which one got more, right? You know, you can you can tell that the plastic went in on that side. Uh, excuse me, that the orange plastic went in on that side, right? So there's more orange on that side. And then, of course, you can actually angle the C block, right? I've been doing it kind of perpendicular. You can do it in line. You can do it kind of at an angle. You can do it whichever way you think is going to get you the the pattern that you want. Well, look at the difference here, right? <laughs> here was the first run on the left. You can see a lot more yellow. Still has some orange in it, but largely yellow. Um, the black just completely overtook it and changed the yellow. Over here, we have almost like Halloween theme, right? Jack-o'-lantern, black and orange. So what we actually are looking for is a happy medium between these two. We kind of got one extreme and then the other extreme so i think really what we're looking for is something here in the middle um really cool stuff we just haven't hit it on the head yet and i'm kind of running out of time tonight so i may pick this back up after work tomorrow and kind of start fresh use a little bit less orange um, and see if we can really dial it in Okay, it is the next day, and you can tell that we have more light in the shop. A little glass of red wine there. I normally drink beer on this channel, but we're keeping it classy today. So here are last night's examples. And uh, wow, you can see just how strong that dead-on orange is. So what we're going to do is uh, we have more plastic in the microwave. And we're going to try to do this again and try to hit a happy medium between the two. And I think we'll have something really close. But... You know, those in their own right are really pretty. And we're back. So here's what we have so far. And this is where we left off last night. You can see how much, oops, how much more orange that is than what we currently have. So I want to be careful not to add too much orange. But I know how quickly that black can sort of overpower it um, and make it not look orange enough in the final result. So... I'm thinking um, something like this. Yeah, scoop the camera back and zoom in. I'm thinking something like that might actually work kind of well. Let's kind of do a little drizzly, drizzly. Really kind of mix them in. Try to get the uh, try to get a lot of black mixed in with the orange there. Oh, sorry, that's not on camera. Yeah, again, there's what we have. All right, here we go. Second day, round one. I already don't think it's orange enough. So we'll have to uh, come back, or might have to come back, and then add orange carefully. Well, well, look at this. I said we wanted a happy medium and we sort of got it. So here were yesterday's first run. Then here were the really orange ones. And look at what we have. Sort of an in-between. It's not as yellow and faint. It's certainly not pumpkin orange. We have a nice happy medium. Wow, yeah, we're getting close. Maybe actually just a touch touch more orange and uh, I, I think we'll have something so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these aside those are again yesterday's and, uh, and then we're gonna get out the rest of them just let it be said that the ecto crawl is freaking boss look at that is that not just insane how good those look it just displays color so well all right that just never gets old okay so let me uh Ooh, sorry for the shaky camera. Let me adjust it here. All right. 
Let's add a little bit of orange. There's four drops. Let's see kind of where that gets us. Four, four drops there. Landon's playing in the driveway while Julie's out here watching him, so he's having fun. All right, yeah, so that definitely oranged it up. Let's, let's, let's be careful, though, and just add... Oh, my God, that added too much. All right, hold on. We got to spoon some of this out. Okay, y'all, I think this is the run that's going to do it. Let's hope so. All right, feeling good. All right, I think this one is it. So a new drum roll. Here we go. I think this is as close as we can get. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm still... Yes. Yeah, that right there, that right there might have it, y'all. It's definitely more orange, but then on the parts that got a little bit more black mixed in, you can see it really kind of mellows out the orange. So, for example, just look at look at those extremities and then look right there. You know, you just like the picture example, it looks more yellow up here and then more orange in the areas where it definitely gets more more orange. Same with this one right here. So I think it sort of has that effect that we wanted. Yeah, okay, there it is. So in some areas it might actually look a little too orange, but in other areas it it kind of has that 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 yellowy craw color, right? So if we just flip that one over. There's there's more yellow there than orange. You know, it's there, there again, that's kind of what drew me to this color originally, like I said, was how it both looked yellow and orange in the same bait. You know, a lot more tangerine color there in the tail and, you know, more yellow in certain areas in, in the body. You know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to match a picture that's been uh, photo brightened, but we, def we definitely did not get quite the yellow tones that that we wanted um so yeah I'm, I'm not really sure i'm really sure exactly how to bring that yellow out and still get the the sort of correct tone of orange so it's it's really just kind of those sections right there that look so yellow but then you have that orange you know i was able to get that orange really nicely but nowhere in the body am I getting quite this much yellow. So I don't know if it's just an illusion of they're, they're saturating the colors a lot more than I am. Or maybe somehow that's a triple swirl. Which, you know, hey, we could always try triple injection uh, and, and do a, a triple swirl. Uh, we, we can't use the C-block, of course, because the C-block is for two colors. But, you know, this one's kind of a mystery. So, you know, I... I wouldn't say that we nailed it, but we definitely got closer today. And in fact, I actually like the previous run to this one better, just my personal preference. Yeah, so my, my personal preference, I, I kind of like this one. That's the first run that we did. And, and of course, you know, we're swirling it differently than, than in the picture. The C-Block and a you know, $100,000 injection machine <laughs> do things differently. But... Uh, you know, I really like the way that these look. So if if I had to pick one that, that I think might ultimately just capture the whole color profile better, I'd say probably our first run. I thought it was going to be the second run. Again, just a little too orange. Um, just not quite enough of these yellow tones, which I think are, are really the more dominant hue in the picture yeah the picture does have some of that more tangerine orange but to me it's more this color so i'd actually say that this one's probably my favorite version uh this would be version four that would be version five okay i misspoke there were only four versions not five so this was last night's version number one this was last night's really orange version number two Okay, here's technically version number three, which was this afternoon's first version. And then here's the fourth and final. So 
overall, I definitely like these two versions better. I think the two colors are saturated a little more evenly. One's not overpowering the other. And uh, to me, those are just the two better sets than those, I think, just all around. Well, it is officially, officially summertime in Florida. It's hot as heck out here. But um, anyway, yeah, we, we didn't quite get it. Most of my color match attempts, I get it, you know, or, or, or I get really, really, really close. We either got, we either captured the yellow or captured the correct orange. I could never really get all the hues in there at once. Uh, so I may be thinking the, the triple injector and milking the cow triple style would be my best hope to get all the color in there like I'm seeing in that picture. You know, I, I've never had that bait in person. If I had had an example in person, you know, I could have cut it up, really examined it, and probably had a little bit better idea of what they did. But it looked like a two-color swirl, um, and it still might be. So, I don't know. Those of you at home who want to try it, please give it a shot. Let me know. Super sexy color. I mean, soup, I mean a really natural crawfish. Um, I mean, the, the UV beaver is an awesome bait. And uh, I, I definitely think we did some cool stuff. We just didn't quite get it this time. So better luck next time to me. But thank y'all so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff. We'll see you next time.